Hart, a ride from Gary Cowan and Brian Morris and Brian Morris look at the pace of the Suzuki and Cowan again goes for the inside line and Ron's trying to pass all of them round the outside well that was truly impressive Cowan leads, Morris is next Ron has the passes of all with the wheelie seven laps gone, eight laps gone let's get it right, eight laps gone four more laps to go and Ron has them and Cowan's going to pass them both Gary Cowan, no respecter of authority, age, experience, or wealth, and I say wealth in terms of cost of motorcycles, because that 500 Suzuki in second place, well, how much would that cost to buy, uh, Roger Marshall? Well, if you wanted that particular one of Haslam's today, you'd probably have to pay 100, 200,000 for it. It must be worth that much. And uh, Gary Cowan on basically a production Yamaha. Oh, and look at Haslam say don't play silly so-and-so's with me thank you very much indeed and Gowan says well no yes not this time and the tail end gets in the way and Ron has to, has to go wide if he wants it and Gary Cowan almost went through on the inside again Ron Haslam will not be allowed to doze he won't be allowed to take things easily well I think if anyone before this meeting Roger had told you that Gary Cowan on a 250 Yamaha would be the man who was going to give Ron Haslam a hard time in any of the open races, you would have said he was insane. Well, I would have bet everything I own that it, would, it wouldn't be possible, Chris. And uh, he's demonstrating that it can be done on a 250 today. We've seen the speeds at Grand Prix and on British circuits creep down the 250 times, and uh, he's proving today that a 250 nearly on the right circuit can keep up with them. And uh, Ron Haslam looking for the uh, showtime, looking for the wheelies. Not on the pace, but look at the Yamaha come back. The others put on the brakes while Cowan is still accelerating. Haslam leads. Cowan goes back into second place. Morrison is third. They are coming round to complete ten laps. Two more laps to go. And Haslam wheelies half the length of the start and finish straight. Morrison goes back into second place. But I wouldn't hold your breath, Brian. And again, Cowan does it again. And they close on Haslam. I think Ron is obviously enjoying himself now, but he's going to be ever so, have to be ever so careful on the last corner if he's wheeling on the back straight, because Cowan certainly won't give in. And Cowan, it was again looking for that inside line, but that was the line that Ron Haslam had got. Well, this is the first non-World Championship race meeting that Ron Haslam has been able to ride in this year. And he, I'm sure he never thought that Gary Cowan would be giving him a hard time in it. Ron Haslam thoroughly enjoying himself. He likes riding uh, in Northern Ireland. He's ridden in the northwest. Oh, and Cowan going through on the inside of Morrison. Forced to move over. Cowan didn't give him any choice then, did he? We're coming up to the start of the 11th, of the 12th and final lap. One lap to go, Roger. This is incredible stuff, the way Cowan's outbreaking Brian. I don't think Brian knows what to do next. Here he goes again, showing the lightweight bike, how he can stop it. Gary Cowan up into second place again. Haslam just a few yards away from them. Cowan riding superbly. Let's take nothing away from Brian Morrison, though, of course, on the 750 Honda. More cubic capacities, but heavier. Probably a little bit slower, maybe, out of the corners. And if Haslam dozes too much, Cowan could have it. There's a tail ender in the way, and Ron Haslam can't afford to doze. The slower man, Haslam, goes past. Cowan, chin on the tank, doesn't want to lose any pace down the back straight. And Morrison, oh, Cow Cowan goes through on the inside again. Oh, and he goes wide. He makes a mistake, and he may pay for it. Haslam is going to win. Who is going to be second? Haslam wins. The sprint is on to the line, and I really would like to say maybe Morrison. We think it was Morrison. Gary Cowan is third. Well, what a superb race to bring this wonderful Kirkustown meeting to an end. Ron Haslam the winner, Brian Morrison takes second place, and Gary Cowan, a brave fighting Gary Cowan, takes third spot. Right, Ron Haslam, yes. three wins out of three races, and what a tremendous scrap that was, the last one. Yeah, it, uh, I thought it got a problem at the beginning, we all on the tyre, but I think it was just the tyre that hadn't warmed up enough, and uh, I was sort of made sure that I'd not go wrong before I sort of let go for it.